They Won't Be Hurt by Kevin O'Brien is a chilling psychological thriller that grips the reader with its exploration of the lengths to which a person will go for the sake of family and personal vendettas. The novel centers on two main characters, Kristen and Ryan, who become entwined in a web of deception, manipulation, and murder. Kristen Stewart, a recently divorced single mother, is striving to make a fresh start for herself and her teenage daughter, Emily. They move into a beautiful house in a seemingly idyllic neighborhood in Seattle. Kristen is an English teacher at the local high school, trying to move on from her failed marriage and the trauma it inflicted upon her family. She is determined to provide a stable and safe environment for Emily, who is recovering from a traumatic experience associated with their past. However, their hope for tranquility is quickly shattered when they realize that their new community is far from perfect. Ryan Larson is a troubled man with a dark past that fuels his present actions. He is driven by a desire for revenge that stems from a family tragedy. His sister Bree was involved in a scandalous affair with a married man, Doug Carlyle, which years earlier had led to disgrace and her eventual suicide. Blaming Doug for Bree's death, Ryan has been meticulously planning retribution. Doug has since relocated, changed his name to Dean Collins, and managed to build a new life, but Ryan's thirst for vengeance has not diminished. He believes that Dean and his two daughters, who were oblivious to Dean's past, should also suffer for the sins he feels Doug Dean has committed. In his relentless pursuit, Ryan targets Dean's daughter Thalia, manipulating events so that he can infiltrate their lives. He starts a relationship with her, all while keeping his true identity and intent concealed. Ryan's intricate plan also involves the people around Thalia, including Kristen and Emily, who are unknowingly drawn into the dangerous game he's playing. As Kristen and Emily settle into their new life, they make friends and try to put their troubled history behind them. Emily starts dating a boy named Spencer from her new school, and Kristen becomes involved with a handsome neighbor, Paul little knowing that these new relationships are all connected to Ryan's scheme. Ominous signs begin to emerge as Kristen stumbles upon clues that suggest her new community is not what it seems. She receives threatening messages and notices unsettling occurrences that seem related to her tumultuous past. As she delves deeper into these mysteries, she realizes that Emily might be in danger. Kristen's motherly instincts kick in, and she becomes increasingly protective of her daughter. As Ryan's plan unfolds, it becomes clear that he doesn't just want to inflict emotional pain. His plan is far more sinister. When Thalia goes missing, the tension escalates, and a frantic search begins. Kristen, relying on her instincts and intelligence, starts to piece together the horrible truth. She learns of Ryan's true identity and his connection to the town's dark secrets which revolve around the shadowy figure of Dean Collins and what happened to his former life as Doug Carlyle. Ryan's meticulous planning creates a domino effect. His actions not only endanger the Collins family, but also put Kristen and her loved ones at risk. As the community reels from Thalia's disappearance, alliances shift, and it becomes clear that no one can be trusted. Once the connection between Ryan's past and the present situation is established, it sets off a trace to find Thalia before it's too late, while unearthing the haunting history that led to Bree's demise. Kristen uncovers a long-hidden scandal involving sexual misconduct and abuse of power that ties back to Doug's past. This revelation shocks the community and brings to light the abuses that have been covered up for years. The narrative takes a suspenseful turn as Kristen races against time to save her daughter from a similar fate and to stop Ryan from carrying out his full revenge, which puts Emily in grave danger. As the novel approaches its climax, Kristen confronts Ryan, discovering the extent of his disturbed mind. Through a harrowing sequence of events, Kristen fights to protect her daughter and herself from Ryan's wrath. The tension culminates in a gripping standoff where the stakes are life and death. The story culminates in a dramatic confrontation. Kristen, with the help of her friends and the police, confronts Ryan. In a series of thrilling and dangerous encounters, the truth comes to light, and Ryan's motivations are fully exposed. The conclusion brings a sense of justice and closure, but not without significant loss and trauma for everyone involved.
The characters are left to come to terms with the implications of their actions and the past's effect on their futures. In the end, Ryan's plan is foiled, but not before causing irreversible damage to several lives. Kristen and Emily manage to emerge from the ordeal stronger, but not unscathed. The novel closes with a sense of hope for their future, but the haunting memories of what transpired will forever linger in their minds, serving as a reminder of the fragility of trust and the devastating impact one person's vendetta can have on many innocent lives. They Won't Be Hurt expertly blends the elements of a psychological thriller with the drama of family secrets and the heart-pounding pace of a crime novel. O'Brien crafts a narrative that explores the destructive power of revenge and the consequences of past actions, while also delving into the resilience of the human spirit when faced with unspeakable danger. It's a story about the strength found in the bonds of family and the lengths one will go to protect loved ones, wrapped in a tale of suspense that keeps the reader guessing until the final pages. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.